in this question, I will explain the importance of exercise and how disease spells and palpitations occur. Okay. Uh, can someone tell me where do you get the glute two, two translocators? Liver. Liver and? It's a switch kind of thing. It can turn on its to either side. Liver and pancreas. Okay. Glute 2 is found in the liver and pancreas. Give me a second. Sorry. Okay. Where is glute 4 found? Muscles, Muscles and one more location. Adipose. Adipose tissue. Yeah, sorry. I didn't hear you. Okay. Now, this patient has palpitations and sweating and disease spells during exercise. So, what happens is our muscles, when a person is exercising, is going to send these glute 4 to the surface. It's going to send them to the surface like this to bring in glucose. Okay. Then what happens is blood glucose level. goes down. When blood glucose levels go down, counter-regulatory hormones activate. One of them is glucagon. And what causes these palpitations and sweatings? What causes palpitations and sweatings? What are our adrenal hormones, our adrenaline hormones? Uh, we get epinephrine released. This is what causes the palpitations and sweating. Okay. So uh, now the blood glucose levels are low. And the way to bring it up is by drinking sugary drinks. The next point I want to highlight here is uh, regular exercise. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna write this here, regular exercise. Does anyone know why, okay, how regular exercises helps in diabetes mellitus patients? When a person is regularly exercising, the muscles will have sent a constant amount. They will have sent an increased amount of GLUT4 to the surface. Okay. So if you compare a person who is not exercising and a person who is exercising, a person who is exercising will have a lot of GLUT4 receptors in their muscle cells. That means blood glucose, the glucose in blood will be low. You get this? This is why regular exercises, um, they recommend regular exercise in uh, diabetes mellitus patients. You cause more GLUT4 receptors to be permanently, okay, not permanently, but to reside long-term in the muscles, ensuring that the glucose in blood is going to be low. 